Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be fixing up this poor turtle. He's a garden statue made out of concrete and it's has been and he's been around a long time. So one of the first things I did was to power wash all of the old dirt uh, and, and moss growth off of him so that uh, new concrete could actually stick and we could just give it a nice fresh look. Now this is a, a diamond blade for, gr for angle grinders. It's made for cutting into concrete and uh, it works really really well here to clean up the edges and uh, take off that old surface on the foot and the back of the, the neck for, for re-gluing. So I'm also cutting grooves in, um, taking off the edge. And we turn them over here and uh, yeah, fix up that leg part because it had some old epoxy. Now this is an anchor epoxy that you can you can get at the box stores. A really good product for cement anchoring. And I'm just mixing up an amount here and gluing in some rebar into the body. This had a hole in it already. I'm guessing this turtle at one time was uh, was or was meant to be a, a water fountain. And so it had a hole there for that, which just made it convenient to use for gluing in the rebar. And uh, we'll put that strap on there until it, it cures. Now I'm using some diamond bits to clean up to clean up the edges some more. And the snout on this poor guy was missing. So and I'm taking off all the epoxy that came out the edges as we want the sculptcrete to fill in those areas. Here I'm, I'm redefining the lines of the turtle shell as the weather had uh, had taken them and, and made them less defined over, over the years. So I thought it looked nicer if, if I did that. And these are just diamond diamond bit, um, Dremel bits I guess you could call them. And uh, they work fantastic with concrete materials. And this is a round headed diamond bit. I'll leave a, a link in the description below so you can find those. And just clean up all those all those lines, making it making it feel a little bit more new. Next thing I'm doing is gluing on the foot, putting it on both surfaces, and then I'll just stick that on there. And this is a really fast setting curing epoxy. Um, within an hour or so, it's set completely hard, so it's really fast set. And I'm using that same grinder blade to uh, groove out of space for some epoxy and, and some wire. And I couldn't find any heavy duty wire, so I used. Uh, I just use some nails, as you'll see in the next next little bit here. But getting a nice deep groove for those for those nails to set into. And this is just the two-part epoxy. Uh, if you're going to be getting it on your finger, you know, if if you make it on your fingers, it, I think it has. It's a good idea to wear gloves, as it it may be somewhat toxic to uh, to skin. So. Yeah, just be cautious when you're using materials like this, as there may be maybe chemicals in them that you don't want absorbed into your skin. So just putting those nails in, and that will give it a nice strong, a nice strong uh, what backbone or or uh, armature for that part of the leg, and, and also the neck with the rebar, so we won't have those break off again. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking uh, Ultra Smooth. This is our smooth product of the Sculptcrete products. And we're mixing uh, the three parts Sculptcrete to one part water. And the reason I chose uh, the Ultra Smooth is, is it, uh, it'll blend nicely into the existing piece. Uh, the aggregate in it is much smaller than, than the uh, regular Sculptcrete. So and it works really well. I did get it a little wet in the mix so I'm just putting a little more powder on there and then kneading it like dough until we get our nice consistency. 
And once that's accomplished, then we can start uh, sculpting it into the broken areas and doing our repair. So wet your surface down before you before you do your repair, as it'll as it'll help the adhesion of the the new to the old, and it'll keep it from drying out as fast and give you a little more tiny bit more working time. You have about 45 minutes um, to work with the product. That's more than enough time typically to do, especially these type of repairs. And uh, yeah, it works really well. So sculpt it in, then come back with a brush and clean it up. Again, wet your surface. This is the beak area, which it was broken off and completely missing. So be a fun, fun little place to do some sculpting. There's some nicks and stuff on the face, and I just decided to, to take a little bit, fill those in while I'm at it. Yeah, I'm just sculpting out the beak. I think that's what they call them. I don't know, the facial area, the turtle. So I really enjoyed this project. It was, uh, it wasn't really a huge challenge for me, as uh, the existing parts of the turtle made it fairly easy to know where to sculpt to, and so it was, it was a fairly easy project and. And, uh, yeah, repairs are always fun because you get to restore something that once had a had a glory to it already. So keeping uh, yeah keeping a piece of artwork alive is always it's always kind of an amazing feeling. So wetting down the neck broken neck area now, and we're gonna go ahead and fill that in. Again, then you're just you wet it down, fill it in, and you can go a little bit bigger on the on the fill. And then feather it out into each side of the, the sculpture. Different sculpting tools can get you, help you with the, uh, the, the uh, different contours and, and uh, areas that you need to, to work to sculpt Crete. Having that, that cup of water next to you to dip your tools into as well and, and uh, your fingers is, is, is nice. Um, once, you get, once you get it sculpted to where you're liking it, then you can come back with a, a wet brush and, and really smooth out the surface. Note that you can over, overdo, overdo the, the wet uh, application with a brush and that can weaken the sculpt. The sculpt crease, so be careful not to, to overwork it a ton. Just sculpt, just get your smooth surface with your, your finger and then come back and just smooth it out with the brush. It doesn't need a whole lot more than that. Also, some some people uh, have uh, have sense skin sensitive to concrete products. If that's if that's you, it's a really good idea to wear gloves. Uh, also, heavy metals can absorb through the skin um, that come from concrete materials. So it's actually a good idea to wear gloves in general. Uh, I don't do it. I can't hardly stand to wear gloves, but it is a good precaution for those of you that want to use Sculptcrete and or other materials that, uh, that may have some toxins in them. Now it's not real hard on my finger, it doesn't even hardly dry my skin out, but my skin's pretty resilient, so if you find that your, your skin cracks fairly easy, um, it is definitely a good idea to wear gloves. Alright, we're just working on all the parts now and cleaning everything up. Where I'm happy with the way it looks.
these two big chipped areas. I did have the pieces for these, um, but I thought it would just be just as easy, if not easier, to uh, just put new sculpt crate in there and probably last longer just by putting the new material in as the old chips are pretty weathered. So let's go ahead and push that into the old pocket. Now I feel like I'm getting it uh, pretty close to the original shape. And then with this uh, this putty knife, just coming back and, and smoothing it all out. It's looking pretty good, so we'll go ahead and, and move on to the next one. Feathering out all those edges so it doesn't can you see so you can't see um, the difference from the new to the old. The color is slightly different from the old concrete to the new concrete, as it is more more weathered and aged. And you will see that through the finished product, but um, I think it turned out fine, so I'm happy with it. Just using my sculpting tool to redefine those lines again. And you could wait and use the the Dremel to. Uh, just redo those lines that wouldn't be a big deal so you could use that method as well okay now it's a day later and uh, he's good and dry we're going to apply a coat of paint and I'm Using a couple of colors of green here, just something I had in my paint paint store, um, and then I mixed it with uh, the Floetrol and then some water because I'm really just wanting it kind of a stained color. At least that was the the feel I was going for. Is if you just paint it, that that paint can uh, eventually kind of wear off or or peel off. And then you have to repaint it as a stain. It doesn't. It really can't peel off. It. It would. Uh... So I was just going for longevity, um, surface or, or finish on this on this turtle. And you wouldn't have to paint it. You could just clear coat it and call it good if you like. If you like the concrete color, but I thought it'd be fun to add some color to him. And I'm just going with a couple simple two tone scheme on the shell being the green and then I'm using a brown bronze color for for the uh, for the rest of them for the neck and the head and the, and the feet so just to give it kind of a two-tone feel pretty simple stuff you just mix up water till it's a nice thin consistency and brush it on I, this part actually should have been green bottom part of that shell there but uh, yeah should have done that this is our clear coat the parts and crafts clear coat that we sell on the website uh, it's uh, a great product for putting on the sculpt crete as it uh, it is an outdoor clear coat it goes on kind of this milky color and it dries a gloss clear gloss coat that is really strong and uh, yeah lasts a long time so wanting to protect your piece further this is a great way to do that now this is something that didn't really need to be done but I thought it might look good to, to kind of give it some more definition I just antiquing the whole thing here with some uh, this is actually a wood stain um, which isn't typically used for this type of project but I wanted to 
This is the second time I've used it. I used it on that pot as well and liked what it did. So I'm trying it on this to see, just to see what it does. And I did it after the clear coat so that it wouldn't soak into the, uh, the piece and, and make it really dark. There it is guys, all done up. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have a piece to fix, head on over and get some Sculptcrete at sculptcrete.com.